everyone this is Asma Khali from Cyberpanel and in today's video I am going to be show, uh, showing you how you can create multi sites so for whichever purpose you want to create a multi site uh, this tutorial is going to be really really helpful for you guys and uh, in this uh, tutorial I'm also going to show you how you can deploy your own WordPress site using Cyberpanel and using that WordPress site to create more multi sites within that WordPress site so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video Okay guys, so what we need to do uh, for the number one step is to basically create an A record for all the multi sites that we're going to uh, create today. So what we need to do is just go into your Cloudflare account, go into your domain, from here click on DNS from the left hand side menu and you'll see that we already have an A record for the main site. So now we're going to create more multi sites for this site. So we need to create a record enter a record for the uh, for those multi sites so click on add record it will be same as a uh, same as this one like an a record but instead of name we are going to enter static static means for all so for like for if you create 10 multi sites two multi sites 100 multi sites this will be enough for it next you need to enter your domain once you enter your domain turn off your proxy click on save and you have successfully entered your uh, A record or you have basically in, uh, entered your DNS for your multi sites. All right, next, what we're going to do is we need to create WordPress site on sub panel. Now, let's check out how you can do that. Okay, so now that we have added the, uh, the A records, we, uh, the A record, now we need to create the WordPress site. You basically deploy the WordPress site. So simply go into Cyber Panel account, click on, um, go into WordPress and click on deploy WordPress. Once you click on that, you will be redirected to this page. Now it's super simple to deploy WordPress uh, on Cyber Panel simply enter the required information i'll just write it really really quickly my username admin email address let me just quickly add my password your wordpress version plugin theme automatic update enable plugins update enable theme update enable and click on create website now this is how you can deploy a wordpress site on cyber panel now as you guys can see it's super simple and everything will be done for you it's really really quick so in a couple of minutes you will have your wordpress site Okay, so our WordPress site has been deployed. So when I open asmi.xyz slash WP admin, I'll be redirected to my dashboard. Just simply put in your credentials and this is the screen that you're going to see. Now, the first thing we need to do before we start creating multi-sites is to turn off all plugins. Now, you're going to say this is a brand new uh, WordPress site. So there, are, there must not be any plugins. But with Cyberpanel, you're going to get Lightspeed Cache. A plugin so you need to go into plugin and deactivate that first so just simply go into plugins and as you guys can see from here deactivate your plugin so all our plugins are deactivated what we need to do now is we need to allow multi-site setup now that's going to happen from the file manager to access the file manager of this page uh, what you need to do is you need to go into cyber panel from cyber panel click on websites uh, and click on list websites once you click on list websites you will be redirected to this page now over here you will see that this is your page just cl simply click on file manager and you will be redirected to the file manager of your website so in public html click on that you need to go into wpconfig.php, right click on it, scroll down and go into edit with code mirror. So in code mirror, we're just going to need to put one little piece of code, which is going to basically allow you to create multi sites. So scroll down at the very end, like right after it says, that's all, stop editing, happy, happy publishing. 
After that, simply enter, define WP allow multi site true and copy. And once you do that, click on save. And it's basically going to allow you to create or set up multi-sites. Okay, so now that we have allowed the multi-site setup, what it's going to do is basically when you go into your um, WordPress dashboard, you will go into tools from the left hand side menu and you will see that there are no such thing as a network setup. So, but we have just, uh, where was it? We have just saved that little piece of code over here. So now when I refresh it, it's going basically we just allowed that so in tools I'm now I'm going to see the network setup so click on that and from here you need to select whether you want a subdomain or a subdirectory but since we have already added the record I'm going to go with subdomains for subdirectories you don't need the um, basically you don't need the records but since we have already added the record i'm i want subdomains over here so just simply sub select your subdomain your blog title your admin email and click on install so this is what this is basically uh, installing your multi-site setup so right off the bat it's giving you two pieces of code number one is this number two is this now this one is need uh, needs to go uh, into the wp-config.php and this one needs to go into .htaccess file in file, file manager. So what you need to do is simply go into your file manager. You already have, we are already in wp-config so just simply copy this code. And once you copy this code, go into your WP can fake, scroll down. Let's just put it over here, I would say. Once you do that, click on save changes. Now that's the first one. Next, or what next what we need to do is we need to add these rules in the dot htaccess file. So copy these rules, go into file manager, add it with code manner mirror. And in code mirror, what we need to do is we need to remove all of these rules and instead paste the rules that we just copied from over there and click on save changes. Now these these two steps that we just did, that code in uh, wp-config and this code in .htss, this is the configuration of your multi-site network. Okay, so now that we have done our configuration, we are going to go back to our um, dashboard now when I refresh it it's basically going to it's basically going to log me out of my WordPress site just like that so we need to log back in it's totally normal don't worry about it happens and once I do that you'll be able to see that your dashboard is going to be super changed it's not going to be a single dashboard anymore so you'll see a lot of changes over here and a lot of changes over there. Okay, so in my sites, go into network admin and click on dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to create multi-sites now. And from here, click on sites from the left-hand side menu. And click on add new. So this is going to be our main site. Now we need to create multi-sites for it. So simply add, I'm going to add a site URL address. So it's going to be, my URL is going to be like ak.asmi.xyz. Site title, blog page one, admin, email. And your admin email, click on add site. And it's done. So what's going to do is when you click on all sites, you will be able to see that your new site has been added. So when you click on my site, you'll be see that there are two sites over here now. 
So just simply copy this URL now. We need, we need to create new domains in Cyberpanel so that there's a, like a whole connection between the sites. So when you copy this site, go into Cyberpanel account. From Cyberpanel account, go into uh, WordPress and click on list WordPress. Okay, so once you come on the list WordPress website, you'll be able to see that this is your WordPress site. Click on that and it's basically going to take you to a manager for your WordPress site. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Don't worry about it. Okay, so this is basically going to be like a manager for your WordPress site. So click on manage application and it will redirect you to this page. So just simply scroll down and we need to create child domains. So what we need to do is we need to add domains within this domain. So click on add domains. Okay, so for this purpose, enter your website and now your domain name that we just copied from here. So copy this, paste it here. Next is your path. Now this is important. You need to enter this to public underscore HTML. Once you do that, select your PHP. I'm going to take it same as the one of my parent domain and click on create domain. So it's basically creating a child domain now. So this is a very quick process, the creation of the child domain, it's already done. So now we have successfully created a multi-site for my main site and in the same way you can add more domains and uh, more uh, multi-sites and as you create more multi-sites just make sure that you enter the domain name and create a child domain for that uh, multi-site. So that's it for today. I hope this video was really informative for you guys. If you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyberpanel.